Imagine you're at work and a complete stranger comes up to you to tell you that you're too fat, too ugly, or too stupid to even be allowed to do the job that you do. Well, that's something we here at 9 in 10 News deal with quite a bit. Maybe you should consider doing a weight loss competition amongst yourselves. Nobody wants to see Tom O'Hare doing the weather. You are nothing more than undisciplined, welfare, white trash, inbred, uneducated disgrace to America. Yes, these are all real emails, phone calls, and social media messages we have personally received over time. Lose the old lame people like Bartleme and Essabaggers. Guess you shouldn't have people talking about sports who know nothing about them. Your station is the laughing stock of Northern Michigan. Some messages are so vulgar and appalling, we can't even read them to you on TV. Cadillac, Manistee, Ludington, and Frankfurt seeing those showers now. You likely know Haley Vaughn as a meteorologist here at 9 and 10 News. Every day she works to bring her bubbly personality and good attitude to work so she can bring you the weather. But instead of focusing on her forecast, larger low pressure system that's currently rotating through the area. Some choose to complain, criticize, and insult her appearance, intelligence, and integrity. If you feel such a draw to whore yourself, maybe you should try stripping. If you could just tell me in the plainest words you can how these things, hearing these things and reading these things make you feel as a human being, not as a broadcaster, not as a meteorologist, but as a human being. They make me feel sad. They make me question who I am. They make me consider how I'm being perceived. But you may not know that your words have a more profound impact than you think. I was on the phone with a lady who called in. She said that I don't have any women role models in my life because I clearly do not express that and I do not show that I am a respectable person. I have a ton of respectable women in my life. And for someone to call who has never met me and said, you are a hooker and you know no one respectable and you have no one to look up to. That's extremely hurtful because you do not know me. Kim Hansen Duell is a clinical therapist at Pine Rest Mental Health Services. She says social media and the internet plays a major role in the problem. Because we're not having that face-to-face -face interaction or even, you know, on the phone, that ear-to-ear -ear interaction, it really allows us to say things we wouldn't normally say. And by no means are we the only ones battling this problem. Just take a quick look at the comments on our Facebook page and you'll see viewers ripping each other apart over any number of topics. And it's something all of us can work to prevent. It's more just like, hey, you know, we are human. We have feelings. Like... If you were at work and somebody just sent you a random email saying, you know, you're horrible at your job, you're fat, you look terrible, like, how do you think that would make you feel? What do you have to say to that other young meteorologist, that young reporter, that teenage girl who's dealing with these kind of hateful comments online? Do you have any advice for them? I do. I think that when it comes to comments from other people, you have to look really in towards yourself. Think about how you know that you are not the comments that people are saying. You are smart. You are working hard. You are doing everything that you can to be the best person you can be. At the end of the day, we are human beings just like you, and we can all stand to be a little nicer to each other. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Courtney Hunter.